A very good afternoon to you. It does look like that teddy bear is called Janice. It's <laughs> not. This is a brand new supply to us here at Hochanda. Teddy and me. And it's a wonderful concept as well. And joining us is Georgia. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? It, I'm, I'm <laughs> absolutely perfect. And I'm really excited about this show. Thanks. What a fabulous concept. Can we tell everyone at home what we've got in store and about Teddy and me? Yeah, of course. Um, so Teddy and me are sewing patterns and, and the concept is really um, based on my son. Uh, so um, when he was little, um, having crafted all my life, sewing really kind of became my passion. And I found it was a great way to make him clothes um, and particularly the things that I wanted and that he wanted, not necessarily store-bought, yes. but you know, actually make your own things. Yeah. And it was also a great way to um, use uh, existing fabrics, so upcycle, things that he'd grown out of maybe, yes. or things that we weren't using anymore, that kind of thing. Um, and then I also made him a teddy. And um, basically, we were packing to go on holiday. Yes. And um, Zavi was uh, looking in his case at all his kind of handmade clothes. Yes. And he was like, oh, these are, you know, great. Where are Teddy's clothes, you oh, know? Brilliant. So um, guess who stayed up late sewing that oh, night? Oh, you did, did you? Did <laughs> yes. you? Matching uh, clothes? So yes, to sew matching clothes for Teddy for him to go on holiday. Oh, do you know something? I've just got goosebumps now hearing <laughs> that story. It's lovely, isn't it? And, and that's what teddy bears are. They're, they're um, something that's going to comfort children. They're a companion, aren't they? They're something for them to have a chat to when you're not around. And so to enable you to make clothes the same as your teddy bear, mm -hmm is amazing <laughs> i love that idea i really do uh, but we've got some kits available for you we've got some patterns available for you as well and uh, we've got a picture here of savvy uh, yes. your son yep. just there uh, <laughs> with the teddy's in a pumpkin field <laughs> oh. so yeah so he's wearing the um the t-shirt and trousers and teddy uh, is wearing the matching look ones. at that <laughs> oh proud as punch <laughs> you, would, you would be though wouldn't you <laughs> especially you when your teddy bear is a is a companion to you at that age as well to you know it's, it's hard enough to get children to wear certain clothes on certain days you know so to have this concept is wonderful and it's a bit of fun it is absolutely yeah <laughs> it really is now you've got three options on the kits available for you for the teddy bear uh, you've got the spotty teddy with the lovely uh, um, sorry the the, that's it the yeah. spotty teddy just here uh, with the spotted ears very popular already then you've got the floral here which is also very, very busy. I love his little tummy as well. And you've got the blue. Now, not just an ordinary teddy bear that sits there <laughs> all day long just with his arms out, because if I pick this one up, you can see the joints are movable. So you get all the details in the pattern on how to yep, do that, don't you, Georgia? Absolutely, yeah. And I think that's marvellous. Reminds me of my very first teddy uh, with those moving limbs as well. Perfect. Uh, £29.99. 080247. We've been busy already, so a quick wave. <laughs> uh, we will go through the kits later, but what we wanted to do for you is have a look at the pattern booklet uh, that we've got available for yeah. you. So we're going to take a look at the pattern booklet uh, just so you can see how comprehensive it is uh, because this has been a labour of love for you, something that you, you know, you're very proud to bring Absolutely. to us here at Hochanda. Yeah. But of course, you've put your own ideas in there Absolutely. as someone who's. Um, been a sewer Absolutely. and putting together patterns. So let's take a look. I'll move the teddy bears over yes. here. With me. <laughs> They're my mates now. Yeah. And we'll take a look at the booklet. So yes, so um, this is the pattern for to make the teddy. Um, and um, having sewn with commercial patterns myself, um, I wanted to make sure that these were very easy and straightforward to follow. So um, all of my patterns are um, photographic, step yes, by step. Perfect. Um, and um, you can see here there are quite a number of steps in, in the pattern book but each step actually achieves quite a small amount uh, of work. So yes. the idea is that it's a very guided sew Lovely. and that you can put it down and pick it up. So if you're a busy person, you can do six steps, put it away for the evening, come yes. back to it again another time. Now, I'm just going to tilt that up for you so you can see at home because you do have the pictures, you also have the text. 
But it's so easy to follow, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So each picture is also annotated. Um, so it's sort of pointing out which bits it's referring to. And as you say, you've got the, the steps. I'm so things. glad you explained mm. that because I was just looking at you. Mm -hmm. Annotated? What does she mean? Yeah, it, it, and it makes it really clear yeah. step by step, doesn't it? Absolutely. Um, and I know you're going to find it easy to follow at home. Now, if we were to say this was for a beginner or an intermediate, what kind of level and standard of sewer do you have to be to make this? So I would say not an absolute beginner. Um, but um, an ambitious beginner oh. or an intermediate. So um, normally it's something like this would be an intermediate so because of the sort of three dimensions particularly yes. of the face and the feet yes but because it's a very guided so hopefully a more ambitious beginner would be able to have a go at it perfect now the pattern itself is inside the booklet so you just it. need to pull that out and that's exactly what we've got just here yeah. so you get the pattern included with your booklet uh, to make your teddy all set to go and we're going to do some great demonstrations throughout the show as well and also talk about how we do get those moving limbs that's right, yeah. Oh, which is fascinating. So the pattern itself is uh, full size and it's printed on one side of the paper only. Okay. So the idea is that you can cut these straight out to put them onto your fabric or if you prefer you can trace them. I often use baking paper just Good because idea. it's cheap and that means your pattern stays intact. So it's Good up to idea. you but it is printed only on one side so you can cut them straight out if you choose to. Excellent, that's handy isn't it? You see Easy and simple every single step of the way. Uh, £29.99 pence will get you the booklet and it will also get you the pattern as well. And you choose between the spotty, the floral or the blue teddy bear. Spotty's been very popular already. Floral's been popular as well. And we've got that gorgeous blue uh, that you see there with the trainers on there and the microphone, the musical instruments, all with the moving limbs as you make them through the pattern that will all become very very clear for you now if you want the pattern on its own if you want the pattern on its own there it is for you 997 885 14 pounds and 99 pence that gets you the booklet and the pattern which um, allows you to make the teddy bears but if it is the actual um, teddy bears with the fabrics that you want then we've got those available for you as the full and complete kit and that's what we've got right here here they are in all their glory with the kits you even get the stuff in as well yeah absolutely let's talk through the kits uh, we'll talk about this one here because it's directly in front of us it's the same item number but you get to choose between the floral the spotty or the blue we'll take a look at the blue and we'll let you know what you are getting in the kit to make yeah, it absolutely so as you said you get the pattern book that we've just looked at yes um, you also get the fabric so there's the main fabric so in this case the blue um, and the second fabric which in this case is the Aww. yellow um, you get uh, a bob in the thread um, you also get, so I'm not sure if you can see here, but there is a special needle in here. So yes. this is the full length of this piece of paper. Oh. Um, it's um, like a doll needle or a long, Got uh, you. long needle. So yes. that's specifically for doing these joints okay. that we talked about ah, before, so that you right. can stitch right through Got your you. bear. Makes sense now. With a long needle. Excellent. And also included is um, some upholstery weight thread, um, this to make the joints ah. extra strong uh, I could do with some of that on my joints actually <laughs> to be fair um, it's perfect that you get everything in the kit yeah so you also get the the label so if you want to put your teddy and me label oh, on nice. you can and then we have the embroidery thread so that's for embroidering the features the eyes and oh, the nose isn't it lovely isn't it lovely so realistic as well uh, which one are you going to choose are you going to go for the floral are you going to go for the blue are you going to go for the spotty is it going to be for yourself is it going to be for a friend is it going to be for a relative uh, the spotty 10% of the spotty which is the red and white one just there 10% of the stock has gone so if you are dotty for spotty it's 880247 uh, if you are new and you want the blue <laughs> <laughs> Same item number, $29.99. And if you are blossoming and feeling like you need to make a teddy bear for some reason, <laughs> that's all I could get from that, uh, $29.99. 880 is your item number. Absolutely delightful. Because let's face it, there are teddies and then there are teddies, aren't mm -hmm. they? They really are. Uh, we've got some more pictures here. Oh. Look at these. <laughs> Who's this? So this is uh, one of the teddies. Um, so um, along with his matching T-shirt. Yes. 
so um all no, there we go they're savvy, savvy in the, the matching t-shirts brilliant so, um yeah that's that's how we do you know that. what it's, it's very encourageable isn't it because it you know if if maybe you want to go out for the day and the children are thinking, no, I don't want to go out. <laughs> they're wearing the same clothes as their teddy and they're attached to their teddy, which they will be. Yes. Their teddy could be a superhero to them. So when they put on the same clothes, they'll be the superhero. Absolutely. Also for learning as well, because teddy bears are, we're hiding behind here, <laughs> uh, because teddy bears are a companion and they can be used to encourage children Absolutely. Uh, for learning, for example, if Teddy's got his learning clothes on, and you've got your learning clothes on, then you can learn together. Absolutely. I think a lot of it's about choice as well. And when they're little, mm. it's about dressing themselves and dressing yeah. their teddy and, and learning a bit about who they want to be yes. and what kind of things they like. And when it's handmade clothes, you can yeah. really kind of, that comes into its own, doesn't it? Because you can really make what the child wants to wear. You can. I really like the concept of this as well. You've got uh, some options here to talk through. Now, the teddy bear pattern on its own, right there, $14.99 if you want to go for that, just on its own, 997-885. Now, if you want clothes for the bear, we've got pattern options for you. We've got the trousers here. Now, the pattern is for the trousers. The fabric, you can get from anywhere. Yeah, so all of our patterns are designed with upcycling and recycling in mind. So, actually, um, we discussing the pattern how you can do that so the examples that we have here on show are actually made from um men's shirts yeah so you can see we actually talk in the pattern about how oh, yeah, to that up. um make the most of the features of the shirt so this yes. is the button placket oh, look at that. from the front of a man's shirt that's amazing so, um each of the samples that you see here are made from three men's shirts love um, that. but obviously you can use any fabric that yes. you like but the idea is that because the pattern pieces are smaller that you can use what you have or yes. you can mix things up from your scrap basket or you know things like that is that a shirt pocket it is that is fantastic isn't it uh, so with the pattern it will show you how to exactly. do that uh, oh you must have some old clothes that mm -hmm. you're thinking about throwing out uh, now the pattern is for the teddy bear but also for your children as well for three to twelve years old brilliant isn't it because <laughs> um, you're never too old to have a teddy bear you're oh, not i know and kids grow quickly as well oh, so. yeah they do uh, that's your trouser option just there 14 pounds and 99 pence same item number and it's another option and this is for your t-shirt your long sleeve t-shirt which you can make short sleeve if you want to yeah, i guess of course um here's a long sleeve t-shirt just here so again it's the same principle of Jeez. Uh, it's the same <laughs> principle uh, made up of uh, just different fabrics, different clothes. Absolutely. So again, um, upcycling and recycling in mind. Um, so um, the centrepiece here, which we call uh, the vortex piece, yes. is made up from scraps, really small oh scraps. Right. So if you've made garments um, in jersey fabrics before, yeah. chances are you've got loads of nice little bits left yeah. and you don't know what to do with them. So that's, that's what a you really can do. great way of doing it. Uh, it looks smart on Teddy. It's going to look smart <laughs> on you as well. Uh, again, three to twelve years old for your children, um, and the matching or one. a small adult mm. really. <laughs> I know small adults that can fit into twelve-year-old clothes. I can. I'd like to think it's me, but it's not. Um, and then you've got Teddy there, so Teddy uh, also wearing the same outfit. What a fabulous concept, and what a way to bring grands and grandchildren together, Absolutely. mums and children together, sitting down, making and creating uh, so that they can get excited about the new clothes they're going to wear yep. and then the clothes that also Teddy's going to wear as well. Absolutely sensational. So you've got the choice there. You can also buy the whole Capoodle if you want to. And if you want all three, we'll put the details on the screen for you now. It is £34.97. Saving £10 on that deal. Buying from us from Hochanda today, 558555. Now, we've also got a Facebook giveaway as well, uh, which I do have. It's just to the side of me. Uh, can I just lean? Oh, a lovely Kirsty's mm. going to come in and pass that to me. Um, there you go. Thank you, Kirsty. Oh, like and the winner is. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, right, to celebrate the launch of Teddy and Me on Hochanda, uh, a competition was launched and all you had to do was like the actual post on Facebook and many of you did that but only one of you could win. And the winner is dun dun dun, Rosemary O'Mahony. 
Rosemary <laughs> O'Mahony, you have won all three. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations. And thank you for liking that post. Oh, that is fabulous. I can't wait to see what you make. <laughs> oh, do you know what? Please send your pictures in because we'll pass them on to Georgia yeah. and she'll keep an eye on the Facebook uh, page as well. It'd be really nice. <laughs> uh, fantastic. So you've got your choices there. Let's have a look at the website where you can make your further choices as well. If you find at any time you're picking items up, putting them into your basket and it comes to £60 or more, I do need to tell you, you can open up a flexi buy. Why do I need to tell you that? Well, sometimes, like me, when you go shopping online, if your basket comes to £60 or more, you think to yourself, I can't really afford that today. And then somebody offers you the payment over two months, makes a difference. Um, but you can buy as much or as little as you like. It's entirely up to you. Freedom members, no PMP to pay. So you've got your choices of the teddy, the spotty, the blue and the floral. You've all, all spotties in the lead at the moment. And the item number is 880247 for spotty, 850827 if you want the trousers, and 997885 if you want the teddy on its own, the sewing kit, which is fantastic without the fabrics, because you can do that. It's all about choice. What are we going to have a look at now? So I thought it, we were looking at those first six steps yes. before. So I thought we'd have a look at those. Oh, OK. So essentially, um, our first step here is to lay our pattern pieces on yes. the fabric. Um, can I give you that? Of course you can. Um, so quite straightforward. All the instructions are in here. Yeah, I'll bring one of the teddy's forts. Lovely. There you go. So the main thing to remember is there are a couple of pieces that go on the fold here. Yes. Um, that means that they kind of cut a, a butterfly shape, a mirror shape, okay. when you cut them on the fold. And then, uh, so this is our main fabric, and this is our second fabric that does the pause. Okay. So we're making the spotty one, effectively, oh, here. I love the pause. Mm -hmm. I remember I had a teddy bear when I was little, and uh, we used to change the paws on the bottom, and we used to buy um, faux leather, and I used to think I was a doctor, <laughs> replacing <laughs> his feet <laughs> as I used to sew them on. And I used to th sew three stripes down there. I don't know why, but it just looked like claws. Um, but yeah, I do like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay the pattern uh, pieces out. I always do it right side up yes. um, because I think that that's easier for people to follow. Yes. And then what we're going to do is literally just flip that pad like you're doctoring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Onto uh, so you're making the inside of the arm yeah. with the with the pad here, and then we're just going to sew with a five uh, millimeter seam allowance. Okay. Um, along there. Now, if I wanted to hand sew these, yeah, can I do that? Yes, you can. Um, if you um, hand sew, um, the I would suggest a felt or something that didn't fray, just Ooh. because you're handling them quite a lot. Okay. Um, so. If you wanted to use a different kind of fabric and hand sew it, then probably stabilise it with an iron-on interfacing to start with, just to stop it fraying as, you, as you're kind of sewing with it. Some people do like to hand stitch, don't they? They do. And the other thing is you can also, um, you can hand stitch it with the stitches on the outside, so blanket stitch round. Oh, that might um, look nice. Yeah. Um, if you do something that's different like that, just check your seam allowances. OK. OK. So you've sewn those two together like that. Um, I'm just pressing that. Just the finger open, press, yeah. yeah. And then um, again, we're going to go right sides together. I even got these on the right one. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, and now we're just um, going to sew all the way round. Now, the only thing is, we need to make sure that we leave a gap for turning. Of course. Because otherwise, you're going to be in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> you're yes, not going to be able to true. turn it the right way around. Um, in the full kits, you do get the stuff in, and that goes down the arms, the legs, Absolutely. and the belly. Yeah, that's right. So when I'm leaving that gap, I just make a little mark with my pins so that I know that I'm not going to sew that Good bit. Good idea. Uh, and then again, a five centimetre uh, seam allowance. And we're just going to go all the way around. Now, coming around these curves is a little tricky. Okay. So you just take your time, and what I would always say is, if you if you you know come off the edge, don't worry about it. It's the inside. Just go around again. Nobody's going to know. No, that's true. <coughs> it's inside. So just have another go at it if you miss it. Um, I'm using a contrasting thread today, just so that you can kind of see what I've sewn. But obviously, when you do it yourself, you're going to use a thread that matches. Okay, so perfect. Can you see that? Um, that looks brilliant, doesn't it? It really does. So you've just been all the way around uh, the outside. It does look oh, good. My pin cushion. 
Okay, so then the last thing to do, obviously, is to turn that uh, through this gap. Yep. Uh, shall I do it? Yeah, if you can. This is the pressure now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah go just on. Just do it, just, just do, do it. it. Sometimes a knitting needle helps, doesn't it? You Absolutely. know, to push, to push down. Yeah. something like that. Chopsticks, oh yeah, you'll have to eat first though, that'd be nice. <laughs> so so that's it turned. Um, you can see I've got a slightly neater one. Here. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's but all right. That shows you can do it very easily. Yeah. So Excellent. You would get your chopstick and you'd sort of push out round yeah. those seams just to, to, you know, give them that nice shape. Would we press it at all? I have pressed this one. Okay. Um, you don't really need to because you're you going to put your stuffing in of course now. You do, yeah. So actually, what I would do is, like you say, put put your knitting needle or your chopstick in and yeah. just ease round those corners so you just get that nice yeah. curve instead. Fantastic. That was easy. So that is the arm. And so Excellent. Do you want me to talk to you about how they're jointed on? Oh, I am. <laughs> so looking forward to this. <laughs> it's like a mystery, isn't it? You know when you see a teddy bear and you're like, well, hang on, that goes all the way around. But I can't do that. That's amazing. How does he... And, that, and it's on. It's sewn on. But that... <laughs> you, you, re you really do need to tell us how to do that. And it's the same with the arms as well. <laughs> they do go all the way around. Uh, the head stays still. Yep. The head doesn't move unless you turn it like so. Um, but yeah, that is fascinating, so I want to know. And I'm sure everyone at home does so as well. So if, if you just pass me that yeah, one. Yeah, of course. Perfect. So essentially, as you said, they go all the way around. They're stitch jointed. Okay. Um, that's mainly because um, I didn't want to use a, a button in case it comes off for a child. Good point. You can obviously use safety joints, so you could, you could do that yourself if you wanted to use safety joints. But I personally prefer it to not have any bits yeah. inside it because yes. then it's it's softer what age are we recommending the teddy well for? it's entirely how you make it right so if you put buttons on it it's yes. not really suitable great that's a good point but and there are no eyes on it because we're no embroidering eyes, so they're the eyes. embroidered so this Very has been designed good. to be suitable yes. the stuffing is compliant with british safety standards great good to know so you know it, but it does depend on how you make it as to whether it's suitable and for that's a parental child. discretion isn't yeah, it yeah of course excellent so to sew these on when you've got all the bits, they're quite unwieldy. So yeah. what I tend to do is, especially with the legs, is I... Oh, it looks like a chicken now. I know. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. Bit of teddy yoga, I describe it <laughs> teddy as. Teddy yoga, I love it. So essentially, if you make sure, you have to make sure that the feet are going to be on the right way. So they're pointing into his ears. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry. There we go. Yeah. So <coughs> when these are loose, they're quite difficult to hang on to. So actually, what I tend to do is use an elastic band. I've got a hairband on here, okay. as it happens. And if you use an elastic band before they're stitched on, then okay. you, it, they're going to hold They'll it. stay in place. So right. don't pin them. I Just an elastic them. band. The, all the markings and everything are on from the pattern, so Great. you'll know where to put them yes. when it comes to it. Yeah, let me but just show that. Yeah. A X marks the spot, as you can see just there. And you can see here that I've marked it with a water-soluble Oh, let me grab marker. that for you. Um, whilst you've got the teddy bear, there yeah. you go. So you can see where that marker has been made. Um, and then, yes, very so easily. So then that will batch up. Great. Okay. So put your elastic band round. Yes. Hair tie, whatever you've got to hand. Yes. <laughs> and then you get your long needle that we talked about before. Which is in the kit. Yeah. And uh, upholstery weight thread. So it's strong, doesn't snap. And that's in the kit. And that's in the kit. And you're literally going to go through all the way through to the ah. other side and they're actually stitched with a cross like a kiss okay <laughs> like it's marked on the pattern piece yes. um and you just go through and go through and go through and then when you come to the end you just finish them off a bit like a button so you wrap round and go through the shank oh my goodness and it's secured on so actually it's it's threaded you know the, the joint is all the way through the the Isn't body of the bear. Oh, you like Houdini giving huh? away your magic trick. <laughs> um, um, that yeah. is fantastic. The other thing that people use, actually, to do that jointing yeah. is um, dental floss. Oh. <laughs> so there's another trick. That, yeah, because you've got that, um, like a waxy. It's waxed. It's very strong. Um, so that's, that's, another, that's so another option. And it smells nice for it a while nice. anyway. Yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. Is that yeah. all? It, when I say is that all it is, <laughs> I mean, it's ingenious. It really is. But it, it takes that ordinary teddy bear and, and makes him extraordinary, doesn't it? And being able to move the arms and legs just makes it real as well, especially when you're adding clothes. Yeah. So you get dressed, the teddy gets dressed, the arms go up to put your T-shirt on, the arms go up 
with the, the teddy bear as well. Uh, and again, the legs move, which is <laughs> just perfect. I do love these, aren't they good? Uh, thank you for that, Georgia. Um, now, if you do want the pattern on its own, we've also got that for you. Here we go, 14 pounds and 99 pence, uh, which is an absolute bargain, isn't it? Very comprehensive guide and step by step for making and creating your teddy bear. Um, and you've got the option to buy it on the full kit, but if you just wanted to have the pattern, maybe you've got your own fabrics you want to use, then you're more than welcome to do so. Now, we also have the clothes pattern uh, with the teddy bear, and that option uh, are there for you. So you've got your trousers and you've got your t-shirt. You can have those separately or combined all together. You've got your teddy bear, you've got your trousers and you've got your long sleeve t-shirt if you want to go for that. And the clothes will also fit a child three to 12 years old. Uh, right. 558555 is your item number if you want to go for that. Right, should we have a look at the options? Okay, now is Spotty still in the lead? You are still going dotty for Spotty. Uh, Spotty is still in the lead. Uh, lovely colourings with the, the, the ears here. Even if you were to give this to uh, a teddy bear uh, as a gift, as it is, I think that's lovely. You could have a little dicky bow on there or something. Or add, if you can, if the child is older, or maybe this is for you, you could add some buttons. Maybe this is going to be like a little doorstop. You could have it as a doorstop if you want to. Just put some beans in there, makes it heavier, uh, which is a nice idea as well. Um, look at that. Stop. <laughs> I love the fact that you've got the um, arms and the legs that move. And in the kit, you've also got a label as well. So if you wanted to put the label on the teddy bear, which is just there, you can place it on the leg, you can place it on the arm, you can place it on the seam if you want to. You've also got that included. So in your kits, you get the fabrics, the fabrics for the main body, the fabrics for the paws. You also get the stuffing to go in the arms, the legs and the belly. You've got the thread. You've got the embroidery thread, which of course is for the eyes and the nose, which makes it safe. And you've got the needle with the special thread. When I say special thread, it's um, uh, special embroidery. Well, I keep saying the word special. It's tough embroidery um, thread. And that is going to allow you to go through one side to the other with this long needle to make and create those joints. So that's your spotty, 880247, £29.99. Maybe you want the blue. Uh, this is the full kit with the fabrics and you've got the blue and the yellow. So the paws are the yellow and the feet are yellow as well. Uh, you also get the threads that correspond to the colour the needle, you get the pattern, you get the stuffing, so everything for the blue. So maybe you want the blue, 880247. And they all come beautifully uh, displayed in a box as well. So if you are giving it as a gift, it's really easy to wrap up as well. Um, and teddy bears are keepsakes, they're heirlooms, they're a companion, they're a comforter, aren't they? Whether it be to yourself or to the children, you're never too old to have a teddy bear. Never too old, never too old. Uh, we've got the floral teddy bear beautiful how about this in your craft room how about this being your crafty companion sitting with you at all times um, and just watching what you do maybe going to sit with you outside as well um, now you could add some lavender if you want to especially to the floral one add some lavender inside the belly and um, I was gonna say he'll smell nice if you have just joined us I'm talking about the teddy bear um, he or she he or she 29 pounds and 99 pence 8802 Four, seven, and that's for the full kit, for the fabric, for the thread, for the needle, for the stuffing, for the pattern and the box that it comes in. 880247 is your item number, £29.99. Now the deal of the day, we launched this this morning. Oh, interesting. You could use these fabrics to make a teddy bear. <laughs> these fabrics are lovely. They're from Mill Shop Online. And, oh my goodness, they are going quickly. £13.99, 85% of the stock has gone. They come to you beautifully displayed. Um, contents will vary, but you will have gorgeous colours that match. Perfect for making your teddy bear. Take advantage of saving third, saving. 26 pounds, sorry, it's only 13.99. Uh, half a meter by 54 inches each. You get seven assorted fabrics in that kit. So if you did go for the pattern itself, you can make a, a, a mixed up matching teddy bear like this, which is really nice. 
like a Christmas theme. Yeah, so this one actually belongs to my son's RV. <laughs> I had oh, to borrow oh, it. Oh, <laughs> one minute, I have to hold. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Um, so now. Yeah, so Does Savvy have a name for his teddy bear? Uh, well, his original teddy bear is called Ted. Ted, <laughs> brilliant. Uh, so Ted <laughs> has made his TV debut. Look at that. He's straightened his stuff as well. Uh, how old Savvy now? He's eight now, yes. <laughs> well, there you go. Your teddy made it. And you did, Savvy, yes, if you're watching. Indeed. Hello to you. <laughs> the inspiration for Teddy and me. Uh, lovely. What are we going to have a look at now? So we're going to look at the T-shirt next. Please, yeah. Yes. Um, so um, with a similar principle, um, so with the pattern, so you get the pattern book. And again, um, we have the step-by-step -step photos of how to how to make that. Yes. In the centre of the book is two pull out pattern sheets. Okay. Um, and I've just laid out one of those. Uh, it's only half open actually. Okay. But just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Oh, okay. So again, these are uh, printed on one side. Yes. They're f uh, full size. And yes. you can see that uh, we have all the different ages marked oh, out. That's on interesting. Here got you so that's age 12 yeah. 11 10 all the way down to three so from age 12 all the way down to three you've got all of the different measurements that's fantastic so again you could cut these straight out yep or you could trace them I tend to trace them children grow quickly then you can come back and make the bigger size later that is true could I just <laughs> lift this out to show you the you whole can. pattern just so you can see you've got that area there let's fold that out fold that so yeah. there are there are two sheets for uh, the garments um, and you can see here in this block this is the Teddy's uh, pattern pieces for his t-shirt yes. here perfect the smaller ones <laughs> uh, now actually what I'll do is I'll just fold that back if I may I'm not very good at folding. Oh, don't <laughs> uh, let's show you first of all Teddy wearing the kit. Oh yeah, he's going out, going out with the kids, going downtown. It looks pretty cool, doesn't he? So that's your trousers, even with the detail of the turn up. Yeah, that is brilliant. <laughs> all made from recycled. That's clothes. right. Yeah, upcycle. So that's your Teddy. If you yep. hold Teddy for me, yep. Georgia, uh, then I'll get the top out and uh, I'm gonna sneeze. Bless you. Into the arm. <laughs> Sorry. It's a dust sneeze. It's fine. <laughs> and then we have uh, the T-shirt with the long sleeves. But you could make it short sleeve, I guess. Yes, that's right. So um, there are a number of options. You can see um, here that uh, so you've got the cuff pieces on ah. this side. But on that side, um, is the sh uh, you could do the short sleeve from there. Yeah, I like that. What a great idea. And, and just tell us a, a little bit about mm. this detail here, because this is interesting. The Vortex. vortex, yes. So um, I'm referring to this as the vortex. So you can see it's made uh, of scraps of material. So yep. if you've got leftovers from previous projects, uh, this is a great way to yeah. reuse them. And the other thing you can do, um, which I've done quite a few times in the past, is if a child has outgrown an, a garment that they love and want to continue wearing, I mean, Savvy was wearing one as it got shorter and shorter, Aww. but wanted to continue wearing it, then you can use one of these panels yes. uh, to, you know, bring that garment yes. on and put it into a mm. larger size and so that's really great fun to choose with your kids. Do you know what you can do as well you know if if dad has got a shirt and trousers but you know he no longer wears them you could actually cut into that yeah. and make those clothes for Absolutely. his son or yeah. daughter and make those clothes matching for the teddy as well so Absolutely. you're handing the clothes down within the family which is a really good idea isn't it. Uh, we've had a question and the question is from Chrissy. Chrissy would like to know if the fabric for the child's t-shirt, does it have to be stretchy? Yes, this is a stretch pattern. Right. But what I is there a difference then between stretch pattern <coughs> and normal pattern? Uh, well, a t-shirt generally has to be stretched so that you can pull it over the head and move in it. Of course, um, makes sense. Whereas a woven fabric, which is actually what the trousers are made from, uh, doesn't have the stretch in. And in the case of our trousers, oh. we have an elasticated waist, which means that you can get them on the... So you learn something every day. Every day is a school day. <laughs> Um, perfect, lovely. Uh, remember the clothing from age three to age twelve. Uh, but again, if you're a small, if you're an adult, small adult, for example, <laughs> um, at our Paula, uh, you could <laughs> maybe fit into the size twelve. You never know. You never know. Um, perfect, lovely. Right, where do we start? Have a look. Okay, so we're going to have a look at making the vortex. Um, so what? 
we have here is first of all you cut yourself a piece of iron-on interfacing yes so that actually is included in our mini kits which I'm sure we will cover in a bit yes um, but you cut it slightly larger than the pattern piece just okay. to give yourself a bit of room to play maneuver you know um, and then um, you can see where I've traced this off we've got the center of the vortex marked right. out here yes. so what we would do is we're going to slide our fabric piece that we've cut out under there and line it up okay I've not done that very well, but you get the idea yes you? okay so then because this is iron on interfacing I'm going to remove this get a scrap piece of baking sheet this is very important okay and iron that in place you Perfect. need this, otherwise it's going to be stuck to your right. iron. <laughs> Got you. Um, just to let you know, we do have the mini kit, £21.49. That is for the T-shirt. So you've got the pattern book in there. And you also have the twin sewing machine needle in there, your iron-on interface, your teddy bear label as well. So that's a good price, £21.49 for that. 167821, because we were using some of those elements in this demo. Absolutely, yeah. So um, we can see here that, um, so I've, I've done that. I've, 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 I've magic, yes. <laughs> magic of telly. I've I do ironed like that, that uh, yellow piece in the centre there. Um, and then, um, as I said, it's made up from a number of scraps. So I just have scraps here. They're not measured. They're yep. just rough cut okay. into scraps. So those are the kinds of things that you want to kind of find out of your scrap basket. Um, and then we're going to start um, by put putting them on the vortex. Okay. So what I do is I line them up right sides facing up so that you can see. Okay. Do I like this? I don't plan it. Yes. I do it. I do it as I go. You know, it's. Uh, Can I admit something to you? <laughs> I thought it was called vortex because of the pattern. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> and it kind of is, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Um, and so, so basically, I mean, it was just a name I came up with. But, I like uh, it. You know. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut your scrap. Yep about a centimetre longer than the side of the centre that you're working on. Okay. Flip that over so it's now right sides together. Right. And we're just going to sew about half a centimetre ah. along that edge. So let me just do that. Okay. Oh, I've got loads of bits of paper on the floor, sorry. <coughs> so, th I mean, this is an education, isn't it, <coughs> in itself? You know, it is for me and I'm sitting here looking at it. Uh, but that's something that's very close to your heart, isn't it? Education in the patterns that you've Absolutely. got available. So all of the patterns that we have, I try to introduce a new sewing technique. Um, so in this case, it's um, there's a nice flip and stitch technique that we're learning here. But yes. I also cover hemming with a twin needle. Um, so the idea is that you can learn some new skills as you do them. So the patterns themselves are quite basic, yes. but then they have these kind of added skills in there. in there. It's good, isn't it? So having sewn that along there, you can now flip that over. I'm just going to put a pin there just so it doesn't move. And okay. you can see this is the start. Yep. for our vortex so then we're going to move on to the next side okay um again um placing it right sides so uh facing up so yes. you can see exactly what it is that you're going to achieve and then flip it over and this time we want it to go cover not only the end of the center but also the end of the piece that you've just sewn. yeah so you're going to pop that on there and then about a centimetre, uh, again, it's not, you know, um, don't have to measure, I'm not a big fan of that, mm. so it's just... This looks this just looks good to do, To fun, it? just yeah. make it nice and fun. And again, we're going to now sew about half a centimetre there. Yeah. Now, what I would say is, in the vortex, because it's interfaced, somebody asked me about whether it was a jersey fabric. So, in the vortex, you can use a combination of fabrics because it's stabilised with the interfacing. Right which means that you can really build up textures and patterns. So, you know, I think one of them, I've got a bit of velvet in there because I thought it would, you know, have a nice yeah. kind of yeah, cause feel that, yeah, to it. That's it. Yeah, that's um, it, different, yeah. Different textures and different uh, style uh, fabrics. Exactly, exactly. Like denim. Absolutely. So in this, because this is already stabilised, you can incorporate yeah. some of those other bits and pieces. So you can see this is starting to take shape now, isn't it? It certainly is. And so and you, you can see how easy it is as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you keep going. Sorry. Can I move those? Yeah, of course. Uh, oh, wow, <coughs> look at that. So I've just continued around. So you can see this is the red piece we placed yes. first. This is the stripy piece we yes. placed second. And then I just continued around and around and around and around. And what you're trying to do is cover 
this the whole of the I interfacing that yeah. we had on the base piece. So this is my last piece, which I'm going to just try and sew. That reminds here. me of going to the seaside. All of those colours you've yeah. used there. Going down to Wells and Ecstasy and going to the cafe, oh. having a coffee with the dog. Oh. So very straightforward. You just stitch that on. Just to, just to clarify that the dog doesn't drink coffee. Uh -huh. Although <laughs> there are cafes serving. Oh, how do they call it? Um, a uh, a mog a mogachino. A mogachino. I know. So can you see, I've just literally sit, sewn that straight line there, and then of course our final flip. I really like this flip and stitch. Sorry. It's fun, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, really. And, there. and, and then there's you, your you finished get, vortex. That's great. So the last step to completing your vortex yep. is you're now going to press this. Okay. So having got all your pieces on, this is the reverse. So you can see that when it's pressed, the interfacing adheres Got to you, yeah. your, all your scraps. Yeah. And it's, so this one's not, and yeah. you can see it's a little bit baggy. <coughs> so a bit of an iron. Bit of an iron, press it nicely, make sure it's all stuck together. So now you've got this really nice stable panel that yeah. you're going to sew into your T-shirt. Place your pattern piece back on. Yes. And then you're literally going to <coughs> cut round this now. So. The nice thing about having this little bit extra is that you can now shift your um, pattern piece yes. around a little bit to choose the nicest part of your vortex. Um, and that works so well. But essentially, it? you're still guided by this centre piece Got here. You. But you know, oh, I want a bit more of that red, so I'm going to yeah. move it there. I really like this idea because. You build up your pattern, like you say, just moving it over from one side to the other. You want a bit more red stripe yeah. in there. Uh, you don't want so much red stripe. Yeah. Maybe that's something you pull don't want back. now. You can pull it down to the bottom. It's a that's fabulous it. idea. And just moving that round again, you get exactly what you want. Or you get something that's a bit funky, something that's that you've it. not planned. And sometimes they're the best. Well, absolutely. This is quite an organic kind of process. As I say, I don't plan them. Yeah. I don't measure anything. It's just, yeah. it's you know, I put the piece down. Do I like that colour? Do I not like that colour? Oh, I don't want, you know, I don't want this, uh, you know, I don't want another red stripe here, yes. so what, do I want a blue or, you know. It works so well. And it's it really works nice, really so effective. well. And it's very, very fun yeah. to do as well. Um, now, I'm going to show you little Ted with his T-shirt with the vortex on, just to give you a little bit of a, an idea. This is your mini vortex in the middle there. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, and then, let me show you, if I get you yeah. to hold so Ted So the there. Ted's one is constructed in exactly the same process. Yes. And there's the vortex on the child's t-shirt just there. It looks pretty cool. And they're so cute, aren't they? They really are. So that teddy bear really is going to be a companion now. Uh, if you do want to go for the Vortex t-shirt pattern and mini kit, 21 pounds and 49 pence. You get the pattern, you get the booklet, you get the iron-on interfacing, and you've got the needle and the label as well. Uh, 167821 is your item number if you want to go for that. Now, if you want the t-shirt pattern on its own, then it is an option underneath this item number. There's your trousers. Remember, you can make these up from uh, previous clothing that you had or your children had, for example or maybe it's something that you want to hand down, uh, so it's your clothing, just cut up and give it the kids to wear. They'll, I think that would be a great idea. Uh, £14.99, 850827 is your item number for that. Teddy bears, that's all we need to say. These are fabulous, aren't they? Um, teddy bears can be a companion, uh, they can be a comforter, they can be a hand-me-down as well, something like an heirloom in your family. Um, and they can just look fabulous in your house, can't they? Uh, we've got three options for you. We have got the Spotty, still in the lead. Spotty's very popular. There's your blue one with the yellow ears and the yellow paws. Remember, the joints all work and you get all the instructions enabling you to do so. It is a stitch that runs through one side all the way through to the side. And there's no ma uh, mechanisms, mechanisms in there. 
Uh, so it makes it nice and safe. I think it's a great idea. Even the legs go all the way around as well. Um, you can watch this show again and watch the demos, by the way. It's going to be available for 60 days. That's your blue. That's your spotty. And here's your floral. Uh, we've been thinking of some ideas. Maybe you could put some scent in the floral. So you've got that lovely lavender smell. You could put some uh, heavyweight beans in there or rice uh, if you can get hold of any rice and then place that as a doorstop something like that which would be really nice you could oh do you know what you could do you could actually applique uh, letters onto the base of the feet or maybe a name across the belly so or a date of birth date of birth on the feet great idea date of birth uh, or it could be you, your year, so it could be one nine, and then whatever it is here, or the year two zero, and whatever it is here and here, um, or maybe it's a special date, someone getting married. So you could, you, yeah, actually, you could have two, you could have two together. Uh, it's lovely. Eight eight zero two four seven is your item number. Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence for the full kit, uh, with the stuffing as well. You just choose between dotty blue and the floral. Now, if you want to dress your teddy bear. We've got some patterns for you, uh, patterns for t-shirts, patterns for trousers and these can be then developed into your children's clothing as well. The idea, the concept is to use existing clothing, cut them up and make and create clothing for the teddy bear and for the kids as well. Uh, now most people are going for the set of three, why wouldn't you? That's your teddy bear, your trousers and the t-shirt. If you want to go for the trousers separately, you can. If you want to go for the teddy bear, you can. If you want to go for the t-shirt, you can. Uh, but when you see them together matching, here we've got the outfit with the t-shirt with the vortex pattern. The reason why they're different, these are all recycled clothing, uh, perhaps clothing from that you were thinking about uh, discarding, for example, uh, clothing that maybe is your favourite, but you've grown out of it. How can you reuse it, cut into it, chop into it, use the pattern? Um, so from age three to 12, and then Teddy got the same kit on. Look at that. Teddy's got the same kit on as well. One size fits Teddy. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 ba, da, ba. I always think of songs and tunes when I see Teddies or anything like that. So full clothing, three to 12 year old, Teddy to match as well. What a brilliant idea, really is. So it's going to encourage children in so many different aspects of their life as well. Right, uh, if you do want to get hold of the trousers, there they are. Now the mini kit for the trousers, here we go. You get the pattern, you get the elastic for the trousers, you get your label and you get your elastic for the uh, teddy trousers. That's a great little kit, isn't it? For £17.99. 513254 is your item number. Right, we've got about 10 minutes left of the show. I don't know why it's gone. It's gone really I quick. Know, really fast. Has it gone quick for you? Yes, this is your first show, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Are, you, are you enjoying it, Georgia? I am very much. Good, yeah. good. Well, we're enjoying I hope your you company. You guys are too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you want to email in and welcome Georgia to the show, you're more than welcome to do so. It's studio at hochanda.com. Or maybe send us a picture of your teddy bear that you've got at home uh, oh just yeah, to give I'd us some inspiration because we love teddies. Yeah. Right, what we have a look at. So we'll have a quick whiz through the trousers pattern just okay. to give you a flavour of that as well. Yes, please. Um, so, um, so the idea, as you said, it's the trousers for the child and a matching pair for the teddy and the very similar principle. So step by step photo okay. instructions with the pull out pattern sheets. Yes, the pattern is inside the booklet, everyone. So again, uh, Full size, printed on one side of the paper, yes. so that you can cut or trace. Yep. Yep. Perfect. So um, if I just move those out the way and I'll I just grab Teddy and his trousers. Um, very smart. So you've got Teddy there. Nice trousers. All the way behind. Uh, nice little pockets on there as well. Pretty cute. With your turn ups and your button at the side as well. Because sometimes if it gets a bit hot, he might want to pull up his trousers and go down to the beach. Here are the trousers to match. Let's have a look at this. So you've got Teddy with his trousers. So cute. <laughs> and then you've got... Oh. So these are age 12, so they're, Ooh. they're Ooh, nice big ones. Yes. Have a look. <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> Pretty do close. You know, <laughs> do you know something? Actually, actually, they would fit. 12-year-olds are quite big these days, yeah. you know. <laughs> 
Oh, do you know, these, these, oh, me and a matching teddy. <laughs> I'd love that. Um, these are great, and I always find it difficult to get uh, trousers that I can turn up, so I might be taking yeah. those home with me. Thank so you the, very much. So the idea is they can wear them as trousers or they can roll them up yes. uh, and button, button tab them. Now, what, one of the things we were talking about before is that we're trying to upcycle the fabrics, and in this case, from men's shirts. So yep. you can see we're incorporating things like uh, the button placket from yep. the front of the man's shirt. This is the cuff. Ah. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. That's <laughs> the cuff. Brilliant. Yeah. So repurposed. Um, you can use your own fabrics, and all the pattern pieces are there if you don't want to repurpose something. Okay. So either way is fine. Um, so what I wanted to show you was um, that um, in all of our patterns, we try and cover off a new technique. Okay. Um, so in this pattern, we focus on um, French seams. Now I'm self-taught, so if there are any very uh, I'm not taught. Experienced sewers out there, they might have uh, a more traditional way of doing this. So what's a mean? French seam then? So a French seam is very important for this pattern. Sorry, okay, yeah, get you? it out again. Because um, when you roll the trouser up, yeah. you're going to expose the seam. I don't uh, know if you can... Yes. Um, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, there you go. Now, if you didn't do a French seam, that would be a raw edge. Ah, so you. because you're going to roll them up into shorts, you yes. want a nice professional yeah, finish. Do. So that's why we've chosen to do that on oh. this particular um, Learn something pattern. every day. Well, that's part of the joy of, of, the, of these patterns, yes. is to try and teach some new techniques. So Look how neat that is then. Yeah, looks really nice. So when you've cut your pattern pieces off, up, so this is the bottom of the leg and this is the top of the leg. Yep. Going to place them right sides facing up. With a French seam, you normally when you sew a seam, you put right sides together. Yep. But with a French seam, you're going to put wrong sides together. Okay. So the easiest way for me to do that is I place them right side facing up so I know where I am. I grab the two ends of the seam that I'm going to sew, pinch them together. Mm. There we go. So you can see that's where they're going to sew together. Yeah. And if I lift it up now, I know that they're correct. This is fabulous. Okay. So then you're just going to pop a couple of pins in here. Okay. And I'm conscious of time. So we've what? got about five or six minutes. Don't rush. Okay. Um, I bet you're all thinking about all the uh, clothes that you were going to throw <laughs> out. <laughs> that I bet you're going to make some. I bet you've got them in a bag ready to go to the charity shop, which is fantastic. Uh, but maybe pull a few out. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll just whiz along here. So you want, um, I don't know if you can actually see my sewing machine, but you want to sew a five millimeter seam allowance. And okay. it's quite important to be quite accurate with a French seam. So how I do that is I put a bit of tape okay. on my sewing machine foot pad here so that I can see where easily, I mean, your foot pad will tell you anyway, yes. but it, it, it just makes it so much clearer. So you're just going to run that the full length. I'm not going to do that now, but you run that the full length. Yes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to trim this. Can't find the scissors. scissors. There we oh, are. There they I've are. got them. So I've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> so you're go basically going to half what you've just sewn. Okay. So again, you know, it doesn't have to be super accurate, but you're just going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Okay. And all of this is in the book with the yeah, pattern. It's comprehensive step-by-step -step instructions. Now, to get your French seam, what you're going to do is you're now going to turn it so that you now have your right sides together, which is more traditional right. when you're sewing seams. Yes. And you're going to get your iron and you're going to press along there. Along there. I've got one that I've done earlier. Okay. <laughs> Liking your style. <laughs> well, I thought we might be a bit pressed for time, but you can see there, so I've pressed that nice crisp wow. edge. Our raw edge that we trimmed yes. is here can inside. You? And now, if we sew again yes. with a five ah. centimetre, five, five centimetre, five millimetre seam allowance. That makes the French It seam. will enclose your raw edges and you'll have a really nice, neat finish. Interesting. Just to show you that. So there's the bit that I've sewn. Yes. So that's now going to be the inside of your garment. Yep. And you can see here that all your raw edges wow. are completely gone. So when you roll your trouser leg up, 
there'll be nothing Perfect. nothing to see you see you're learning something new with <laughs> the patterns it's great oh, i'm absolutely loving this idea of dressing your teddy <laughs> and your kids Mind you, these will fit me. <laughs> um, in the same clothing, it's lovely, isn't it? It really is. If you want to go for the sewing patterns, Teddy and me, fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, eight five zero eight two seven, and that is your choice of either the t-shirt or the trousers. So, if you want to go for the trousers, eight five zero two uh, eight two seven, and the same item number for the t-shirt, also fourteen ninety-nine such a cute idea it really is uh, right let's talk about the full bear kit i have got mr blue teddy pear teddy pear teddy pear oh you could buy a pair uh, this is mr blue teddy bear with the yellow feet and the ears and the little paws and remember you have got the limbs that go 360 we're not hurting teddy bears if we do that. <laughs> Please don't try that yourself at home because you might, you will hurt yourself. Um, so that's your blue teddy bear. We've also got your floral teddy bear. And the one in the lead for the show is Spotty. <laughs> dare I ask if you've got a favourite, Georgia? Well, dare I, I ask? I like the Spotty one possibly because I like to dress them. And yeah. I do think that if you dress them, the plain one is is quite nice because you're going to put the clothes on it yes i see what you mean but lots of people do make them as memory bears or keepsake bears oh okay so if you so, uh, people have made them out of brownie uniforms school uniforms oh like a christening baby growth i was going to say a christening uniform but it's not a uniform <laughs> a christening, a christening, gown, christening gown. gown yes but anything like i had a, had a guy buy one who was making one out of his army uh uniform oh uh, nurse's uniform you know so people are making them as kind of keepsake because we yeah. all keep these garments in a box in the loft and yes. then never look at them but if you make it into something and then sit it on your shelf that's really nice actually yeah. and then it's and then it's there isn't it for you how lovely it could be the first clothes that uh, you know your baby had Absolutely. and you've kept them all this time make them into a teddy bear Absolutely. it's an heirloom that's what they become um, if we wanted to to make and sell any of the teddy bears yes. uh, from the pattern could we do that you can yes uh, not on a commercial scale no. but of course uh, you know for market you know yeah like a small markets little craft things market things oh like fair that. enough uh, but <coughs> these are nice gifts aren't they nothing says it more and better than a teddy bear now the actual pattern uh, a comprehensive book in here and these are pictures and text isn't yes it, that's right and it gives you step by step top quality instructions on how to put together that teddy bear and the pattern is within so when you get this home you're thinking oh where's the pattern it's within just then it's one-sided isn't it that's right yeah so you just pull that out and it's full size and ready to go perfect uh, oh and there's your little family there yes that's oh, right oh that is amazing <laughs> lovely uh, well thank you so much for coming to Ho Chanda thank you and I hope we have another show yeah. very very soon uh, what a wonderful idea teddy bears if you want them just on their own teddy bears that you can mix and match clothing with as well uh, with your grandchildren or your children it's a lovely encourageable idea isn't it uh, to have that little companion that wears the same uh, thank you so much thank you. really appreciate it we'll see Georgia very soon please do check out your baskets though we do have more coming up on Hochanda for you uh, but in the meantime go and grab yourself a cup of tea check out your baskets and make sure you get those kits that you've ordered thank you